what is up YouTube? Now, 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 before we go anywhere, and Jesse's gonna laugh in the background because I just said the last time I did a video was with him and Portia. <laughs> I know it's been over a year since the last video. I have no real excuse other than I've been working a ton. I did decide to take some time off. I apologize for not communicating that. And then I took some time off and it just kinda, I got busy, we bought a house, moved. Um, you all you know how that goes. So um, I figured, you know what? I sold the GT4, thank you Jesse. Now what? You know, I went, what, nine months? Yeah. Nine months, yep. I think, something like that. <laughs> nine months without a toy and that was the first time since 2006 that I did not have a toy. Uh, I still had the Gen 2 Raptor and I was like, you know what? My 4S allocation has been pushed, as with pretty much the rest of the worlds, other than Europe, obviously, has been pushed and um, needless to say, I have a Pennsylvania trade credit that I had to try to reset. So Jesse found me a great car. We're gonna first tour the new facility. It's kind of hard to see because I don't have a super wide angle here, but uh, we're gonna tour Porsche of the main lines, new, brand new, New hotness, is new that hotness. what we'll call it? Yeah, <laughs> new hotness. So we need to first find a door that lets us in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then we'll resume when we get inside. So this is now all underground storage. So no more cars outside. So you essentially come in off the main road. Again, nothing outside, which is gonna be really nice. You ever go to look at a car and it's dirty and filthy it's also going to save them time see this is not a pennsylvania thing this is like a california thing yes. like pennsylvania <laughs> pennsylvania doesn't have the underground yeah. car storage by the way this is jesse you guys have seen him before i'll put his info right here uh, all the electric car chargers on the walls over there because our future is electric as everybody knows. right and then the large charger here and we have two 350 kilowatt chargers upstairs by service right so very so, very cool how many cars in here they're supposed to be able to fit 100. Clever parking, 105. Yeah. <laughs> it might be hard to see on camera. I mean, that, that's a lot farther than you guys think. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what I'm talking about. How much for the forklift? No, this is nice. So you come in that side, or do you go this out side. that side? So you yeah, come in, you'll come in flat. through here and go straight through that way. But yeah, you got, you got to be touchless and coding safe. So these are our delivery areas for all the vehicles. You'll have your car back in right. right here. There'll be a whole bar, food, drinks, Snacks. customer experience manager behind you there to help you set up your portion ID and everything. Uh, it'll be a very good experience overall. We'll how, actually have how a many? dedicated spot. Is it like how many of these? Three. Three of them. So one, the middle one's the largest one, and then another one on the end over here. So they're all this all and the same. And then there's two F and I offices over there. Oh, this the showroom. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. You come up the elevator right here, and as soon as the door's open, you just you see, see our heritage display right here. We thought that this was a mistake, but it's actually part of the heritage display. So this is this is OG stuff. Kind of the evolution. You said there'd be a car here, like a There's classic. A sitting on top Always of a classic. classic car all the time. Right. Yep. Your really cool display and this is the main, this is, the this main is clearly the main showroom. I think we have it set up to fit 16 cars in here. And I'm assuming there's a car elevator or is it like a, no, a drive up? No, no car elevator, it's just in through the front doors right over there. Oh, that's right, yeah. So we were saying, when you guys saw the intro, I was kind of standing over through here, but we had walked down and came in under, that's where the garage is, is right through here. On this mezzanine area here as well. That's nice. These are all sales offices down here and second level up there. Where's your office? Did they assign you Not one yet? yet? <laughs> How, are, you, are you bartering for um, a specific one? I really like this corner one right here. You get to look at everything. Yeah, and it's close to the configurator lounge, which <laughs> is my favorite area. Right. Um, we keep joking that it's gonna be a shotgun start at the door and you run to your office. Right. Door's shut, no one has to hear your spec and everything that you're doing. There'll be samples of everything now. Right. You guys have never configured a car in person. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously you go online. These are going to be all leathers, yep. colors, paint samples, C not. CCX options, yeah. all, all that, all that stuff. I mean, these days, pretty much any manufacturer, you can ask for whatever you want. Like you might not get it, but most manufacturers at this caliber, including Porsche, you say, I 
want to change this totally and they mm -hmm. sometimes they say yes sometimes they say no correct um depends I'm, on the mood of the day and i'm sure nowadays <laughs> there are a lot more no's <laughs> right now with just obviously everything going on but uh yeah this is nice it's it's very quiet in here. So we came down through here. So this is service. Cars will come through here. Right. Service drive is through the two doors right there. So all types of weather, rain, snow, doesn't right. matter. You're pulling into a clean door. Area. So when you're in service, you come pay the very expensive bill. And the then you cafe. then you go, oh, see, uh, now snacks. You have me at snacks. And then this is the multiple areas of customer lounge. There's a quiet room now, so if you have to do Zoom conferences, you have an area to do hey, that. Hey, this is this is a Cisco. This is a, you mean a WebEx? Yes, not a, a Zoom. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna bleep that. <laughs> you come in here and you just pull all the way up, stop, come in, and there you go. There's kind of the entrance, so we're up the steps. So you said there's all sales up here. Right? All sales offices up here as well. <laughs> we were just joking. I was like, it's huge in here right now. And then the second you move in, it's just like we're out of space already, which is a good thing. Yep. It's, it's a good thing. I haven't showed what's next door <laughs> and the parking lot. Just the parking lot is probably worse than trying to get through New York City. Yes. Like it's it's. Not like pothole wise, it's just chaos. I was in Manhattan on Thursday and that was easier to navigate than our parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> so big change coming here. Uh, you guys gotta come down and definitely check this out. When We don't know when, when you're opening yet, right? Not 100% sure, trying to get uh, certifications and certificates and all that fun stuff. So hopefully within the next 60 to 90 days. Right, so the good news is maybe by springtime or summer, we'll be back here picking up something in this Hopefully. building in this building <laughs> hopically that's the plan yeah. this is what you said all parts all parts and tire pack storage so when your winter tires are taken off they'll be kept on site now up here oh i didn't even know you guys do that yeah. you can do that for me yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even know that was an option <laughs> you learn something new every day yeah. this is only one of the parts floors we'll show you the other one downstairs right. and this is the third this is like the this is only like the employee like you don't yeah, this see is the top level this is top level like customers aren't normally yep. at this level so you mean to tell me you guys have a freaking gym yeah fully optional. it doesn't feel like a dealership like i don't no. feel like i mean we'll never see this right but correct i was not expecting this yeah. <laughs> that's really cool yeah uh, <laughs> definitely not this is where i filmed the intro to you guys so you can see kind of the the two buildings right we have what is that used pre-owned currently pre-owned yep. currently over there and then you know this the baby so, Porsche that, store. that's the the little tiny baby porsche store and you can kind of see the parking chaos like all through there mm -hmm. um so yeah big change here's your service bay dear lord then it shrunk down well the alignment i mean the alignment yeah the, uh, all the SUV. all the weight, it's yeah. The battery. A Cayenne electric is going to be probably six thousand pounds, yeah. so you have to have the heavy duty lift. That's parts. Yes, yeah, so this is main parts. So this is their freight elevator where all the parts will come in from downstairs. Parts counter to the showroom right by the hair. Oh, display. okay. I missed it. Oh, yeah, I missed it. Okay. So the there you go. Away. There's just more and more and more to this place, and we are back where We're, we started. This is a big. Uh, Big building. So this thing's cool. This is really cool. Before we go see what we're really here for, this is a dot two yep. speed. They're only dot two, yep. right? So dot two. two. And this is the heritage livery. So yeah, this is like how it came from Porsche. So it's basically a, a GT3, yep. right? But the throttle bodies, individual, in, in, throttle, bodies. individual throttle bodies, right? So it's more of like a a GT3 Touring Correct. convertible. Yes, a little mix of everything. Yeah, but I love What's the really gold. really cool about the Heritage is the interior. It's one of the only G3 cars you can get from the factory with the Cognac interior. Hopefully you guys can see in there. Yeah, you can see it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's gorgeous. That's cool. It even does the Cognac stripe on the steering wheel, the top of the shift knob. Really cool. These are pretty pricey still, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ours is a good deal at 360 and change. So if you're looking for a speedster, reach out to Jesse. You've seen me tag him, but again, I'll put his info in here. Porsche Mainline, you saw earlier, that's the main building now. You can't see it, but right over there <laughs> is the, the big <laughs> building that we were in. So you can kind of see, here's the parking lot. It's just literally like, but this is where it all started, right? It is. This right is over. It. This is the 
that's the spot. So Home base. this is sharp, obviously. Same car, right? Speedster, yellow PCCB caliper. Yeah, super sharp car though. Market is just through the roof on these things, but you can probably see why. We're probably never gonna duplicate it either. Right, right. At least right now there's no potential. I bought something, <laughs> your fault, All because you know, I, I had mentioned we had the, the trade credit. I know the lighting's a little, it's, it's bright as crap out here. Yeah. But we had to reset the trade yes. credit. We all know that the car is gonna come back. So it was just a match made in yep. heaven. I actually let Emily decide on this. Mm -hmm. I was like, do you want this car? Yes. So we're just gonna shut up and let Jesse pull the cover off and you see what we get to mess around with for a bit. say much to you guys i will say clear side markers night and day difference <laughs> night and day difference when i came and looked at the car i had you know the typical stupid orange side markers spent but a lot of time on the prep too so yeah really came out well yeah so gt silver right so this is uh carrera gt yep silver All uh, the GT we had is not silver. yeah i mean it's for sale for you sale. know you guys you guys want to buy that um Pretty much PDLS, pretty much all the options, mm -hmm. right? Very well built car. No carbon ceramics for now, but this is a temporary car, but the, these cars are totally capable. And uh, that's because it matches the inside. Yeah. And you could paint caliper, could you get the calipers in Not black? Not back, back They just started that in the Back on this generation. gen, yeah, you had to get yellow. So you can see why the red works so nice, right? Obviously we have to have the buckets, red seat belts fire extinguisher, uh, Emily's gonna hate it. And then this piece right here that you guys are gonna wanna see, that's a manual. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty well specced out for my liking. Obviously this is a dot two generation, so we got the 4.0. I like the higher wing. And then we have a nice sole exhaust on there already. So mm -hmm. we're already in the fun. Yep. And you guys know that plate. We were able to transfer that over. So yeah, here's the new toy for a while. I told you I'm back, it just took me a little bit, okay? are gonna love me.